This is a dog door for winter conditions, summer conditions, really, really windy conditions. I wanted something that can handle, you know, 70, 80 mile an hour winds. I'm up here in Eastern Colorado on the high plains and we get some ripping winds and extreme cold. Here this week, I think we're, we're gonna see minus 50, which is ridiculous. But <clears throat> long story short, I've got a, a dog and he comes in and out all the time. His name's Sam, he's a great Pyrenees. But uh, he, we had one of those flapper, I think it was a pet safe flapper doors. So this is basically what we had before. It was a pet safe thing off Amazon. It was a good door. If I lived in a warmer climate, it'd be okay, but bugs and stuff would still get in through the flaps because as time goes on, the flaps are not that well sealed up. That lasted maybe, I'd say close to a year. I saw some kind of like this online. But I thought, man, if we could do a double flap system, that would be awesome on each side. So this has four flaps essentially. So there's a flap here that the dogs can come in and out of, if you can see that. And I got magnets on it too, to really help hold it. Just those little cheap um, Neo magnets. And then essentially I did the exact same thing on this side, but on this side as well. So when the dog comes in, here, let's see. So when the dog comes in, he just hits this door and then essentially that that inside door right there just hits this this thing and it opens up the whole system so he can kind of he can come and go pretty much however he wants and there's a, a void in here to uh, of dead airspace essentially but it works pretty darn slick when it comes to the high winds and as you'll see we had a big wind event here the other day and it stayed sealed down pretty good i did mess up on this magnet system you got to make sure you glue the magnets so they're polarized if that makes sense so they attract instead of push apart but yeah this whole thing it seals up really nice and it keeps the snow and stuff out really good so that is my super handy dog door and here's how i did the hinges i just put one hinge on the top um, frame and then the bottom hinge just kind of dangles and hangs there on both doors so it works really slick I built it out of this cheap plywood and that's actually free pallet wood but uh, the, the system is bolted to the door on the on the frame of the dog doors is bolted through the door on each side you can see here on this side and then the top one the, the actual door itself is just screwed to that on either side but right now as it sits with those micro cracks this side is a little bit tighter as you can see here but uh, it's pretty much airtight right now and it withstood I think 45 50 mile an hour winds the other day you'll, you'll see it like this little gap this little tiny crack I had a whole thing of snow over here and the way it would have been with this pet safe door because it's happened in the past is the wind can start ripping these and this was a, a winter one with three flap system so this was this was a high dollar expensive one the rubber held up but the system itself isn't really designed to withstand that much wind i mean but yeah that thing works pretty darn slick magnets set in you can hear them all setting when they set and the dog he's he's figured this out he took him about a day to really figure it out but he's got it dialed in and yeah it works pretty darn slick let's see if i can call him in here sam he must be down at the bowls let's see hey sam sam come here bud come on bud see it works pretty good huh yeah you figured it out you're a good boy so that's my dog door like i said this is temporary for now, I'm going to see how this whole system functions for about six months to a year. If I still like it, I will put some links on how to build this with some measurements. But as always, the measurements can vary. Be sure to measure your dog. So, the thing about these Pyrenees is, man, their shoulders are wide. So if you can fit through here, come here. Come on, put your arm up here. I had to make this one pretty darn big to fit him because he's a beast. But uh, yeah. It's a slick little setup. I, right now, I really like it, but we'll see. Time will tell. So be sure to follow me. And like I said, I'll keep you guys posted and updated on this thing and see how it comes. And then also, like I said, this is just a prototype. I will come back in and, and probably build it out of metal. Yeah, we're going to just put this thing through a testing for about a year and see how it performs. So be sure to follow me, sub up. There's lots of other things, lots of improvements, lots of projects just like this that we're always building on the channel. See ya. We've got a blizzard going on and
and it's been, I don't know, a week or two since I built this, but I wanted to come and see how it's working in about right where the snow is. There's a little bit of a draft you can feel coming through here, not much, but you can definitely see, I mean, down here is really where there's a big draft coming. You can definitely see where the snow's coming through. Not so much here, there's just a little, little bit, but for the most part, I would say this is a thousand times better than that old dog door. Let's go see what it's doing outside here. Ah, it's a blizzard. That's holding pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, run, buddy. 